Hi, welcome back to Greenstone Ivy. First of all, I'd like to say hello to all the new subscribers. Thanks for joining the uh, channel. And if you've not already joined the channel, hit the subscribe button. I think you'll find it in the bottom corner. So, a couple of days ago, I posted a picture on the community um, community tab of a Milson. I saw him straight down the middle of a Milson. I did this about six years ago using a, a stone hand saw. So these really long stone hand saw, you can buy them online for about 40, 45 pounds. Um, tungsten teeth on there, really aggressive. Don't use it very often. I think I've probably used it four or five times in that I've probably owned it probably seven, eight years. Um, really aggressive. But and it was such hard work, I posted on there saying how I'll never forget that day. Cutting all the way through that, um, that millstone was really difficult. But at the time, it was the only piece of equipment I had what could do the job. So, on that picture, um, one of our subscribers, Matilda Doolittle, has asked how neat and accurate we can actually get a cut with that sort and if it's a, a realistic way of cutting stone to make a house sign or to neaten it up. So, I thought we'd go and find it out of one of the old sheds. Um, we'll mark a piece of stone up and we'll show her, see how we get on with it. So I've made it through the piece of stone. Surprisingly to cut through this piece of stone here, which is about 10 inches, it probably took me about 15 minutes. It was hard work actually. No need to go to the gym after that. Um, the actual first three quarters of the cut is pretty neat, pretty tidy. It's uh, very smooth. Because it's on the underside it's chipped a lot. And you can see, it's chipped a lot. But then as you got towards the end here, where you're putting the pressure on the saw, it's chipped the piece of stone off. It's, uh, I'll just bring that closer to you see. It's, it's um, snapped off, so you're putting the pressure on the saw. As I was going, obviously I don't use it a lot, so you can remember as you're going. You, like on a normal hand saw, you can cut on the back stroke. On some of them, this is always a photo, so you're lifting up and putting all your pressure on as it goes in forwards. You'll see that on the video, and as you're forcing the, uh, the teeth through, especially with this fin stone here, so this stone probably what, 25 mil. It's maybe 30 mil. It snapped it right as it got to the end, as it, had it clamped on the desk. So, yes, I think it does work. Well, it does work, we've seen it work, and I've done it a few times. I think if you've got other options, like come through this with a bolster hammer and bolster, you get through it with your still saw or your cordless saw, DeWalt saw like we use, or the big tiger saw, if that's another option, I'd go for that over this. But if you're stuck in a pinch, this uh, rough neck stone saw will will get you out of a, uh, a problem. I wouldn't want to use it all the, all the time. You'd have one arm like Popeye, pushing that through the stone all day. And I mean, this is only a small piece of stone. So it's um, it did bring back some horrible memories of cutting through that millstone, how long it took. One thing we did do with the millstone when we did it last time, we scored the outside with a, um, a four inch grinder with a diamond blade first. So that probably got us, what, two inch of depth, just probably shy of two inch of depth on the outside going round so we had something to follow to for the outside not obviously in the centre but that gave us for the groove of the saw to sit in it was I remember now it was slightly narrower so we had to force the teeth into it but it did work it, it kept us true it started us off and kept us in the straight lines we we were going through we actually took it in turns me and Bri so we'd do 10 minutes each I think by the time we got to the end of it we were probably doing about two minutes each what we got then it wasn't a bad cut you'll see on the picture so yeah, that's the end of that video. 
if you can get another way around cutting through the stone I would do but the uh, roughneck stone saw will help you out if you can. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.